Sorry, scapegoat's back in my <laughs> summer car. Okay, today, because it's an easy day, and I want it to be an easy day, because I don't want it to put up with a bunch of bullshit. So today, we're going to go to town and get paint to paint the pink accents on my car and the roll cage as well. I'm not sure what color I'm going to paint the roll cage yet. People keep suggesting black, but I like that splash of color on the inside. So I haven't decided on the color yet, but black seemed to be the consensus for all the parts, but I feel like that's too matchy poo and I'm not trying to make it look cool. I'm trying to make it look scapegoat. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but on the, on the other side of this coin, I am going to also get ready for the drag race, which is a big, big deal because I've done the other race and I won, I kicked its ass. So I want to go drag racing now and I want to, not yet, not today, obviously, but in order to do this, we need the drag tires. Now, I realize you can't order the tires from in here, but that's not the point. The point is, is that I want new rims for my tires because it makes sense to swap rims as opposed to swapping tires. So I'm not exactly, I don't like any of these tire options. I'm thinking about just getting the steelies and throwing the drag radials on that, but I don't know yet. I haven't decided. I guess I'm going to go with the most expensive tire because I can kind of afford it or the most expensive rim because I can afford I like these actually, strangely enough. These uh, these are kind of nice to me. I don't know. They look like old torque thrusts with more spokes, but I'm thinking either this or this. So I think I might do this because I'm hoping that more expensive means slightly lighter, but I don't know. I don't know. But I think I'll grab, oh, I don't know. Which ones do I want? I hate, I hate all of them. The only ones I ever liked were these ones and these ones are all right. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I, you know, I'm going to get these because why not? All right. So I'm going to order this. Make sure there's nothing else in here I want. Oh, I should probably get the leopard print stuff so I can get the girl. Oh my God. Okay. We're going to order leopard, leopard, leopard. Oh, I hate it so much. Okay. How much is this? Because this is going to be expensive. Now I have everything else that I can imagine having. I've owned everything at some point or another. Except the racing steering wheel, but I, I like the wooden steering wheel because the racing steering wheel is lame. Uh, you don't need one in a car like this. Who's this calling? I have those lights. I don't need that. Okay, let me see. I got I got everything. So we're just going to paint this paint this up. Print this up. Put this in my car. Okay, I'll go, who is this on the phone? I'm busy. Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. Jeez, why are you bothering me right now? What do you want? Okay, I have no, I have no time to take you anywhere. Just... Jeez, lady, look, I'm busy right now, Grandma. I'll come see you some other time. I got things I got to do. So, we got enough money to afford the rims. Ugh, okay, put this here. The roll cage, I think. I'm thinking maybe. I don't know. I don't know yet. Um, I don't know what color I'm going to paint it, but we got to get going to town. It's just after 8 in the morning, so we're set. We're going to pull this choke out. Where's the choke? There it is. All right, choke is out, I think. There we go. I can't see it, so I don't really know. Come on, baby. Beautiful. Okay. Now, is the choke out? The choke is out. All right. So, frame rate seems a bit choppy right now, but I, I don't know why. So, we're going to turn the lights off. That doesn't seem to help anything. I don't know what the deal with the frame rate is right now, but we'll uh, we'll leave it for now. It could be just because I'm playing at 60 frames a second instead of my normal 144 I usually play at, but let's see here. Okay. Oil pressure is good. Temperature still needs to come up. We'll get this thing moving. We'll, it's easier to just get it rolling. All right, let's see here. All right. Now, I always struggle with this in reverse. This is going to be my nemesis. Okay, everything's working. All right. Then my nemesis is always going to be launching on this, this particularly devastating clutch. And everybody's giving me advice on adjusting the... Uh, what do you call those? The uh, sensitivity and the settings and all that. But honestly, it doesn't do much for some reason. There we go. Now, I'll, I'll turn off my choke when I get to the end of the road. This will just warm it up a little bit quicker. It's probably why I'm fouling plugs. <laughs> running so much fuel through it. <laughs> okay, here we go. It's a nice day today here in Finland. It's a beautiful... How are you guys doing? I hope you're doing okay. Yeah, this is going to be the next thing's the drag race. I hope my bottle's still full. I think it comes full. I know because I saw a thing at Flatari's where you can refill the bottle. But we definitely need the drag tires. We're going to get Flatari to put those on when the rims come in. 
But today, it's painting the trim, dropping off that letter, and then calling it a day. So that's that's how this is going to go. And I'll paint the trim down at uh, Tiamo's because that's what I want to do. Perfect. Okay, here we go. This is working so far so good. Yep, it's going to be a good day. It's going to be a really good day. I can feel my bones. Uh, everything's going to come up scapegoat today. Now, we're not going to look for Pina this time because normally I do and he's never there. So we're just going to do this, call, call it safe and go. <laughs> I need a little more drama in my life. I'm still using the small tack. I have this big tack installed. Now, I could go and install the clock again so I have a clock in the car. But I like that original tack a lot. So, wait a minute. Is that Pina? No, it wasn't. Oh, geez. I thought it was Pina. I was going to have to drive off the road. And after getting this car painted, I don't really want to do that. That's the problem I have with painting the car at the shop. Is that if you get in an accident, you're now painting uh, huge amounts of money away. Because <laughs> every time he fixes the bodywork, he just puts random panels on the car. So I don't know if that applies once you get a paint job. Because I was just spray bombing it before, but I, I would like to know. Let's see here. What do we got? Any traffic? Any cross traffic? Oh, okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay, well, we look good. All right. Fine. Here we go. Perfect. Okay. There we go. I think it revs closer to eight grand total, but in an effort to save some of the engine. We'll shift at seven grand. There we go. Also, if I'm going to drag race, I'm going to have to put the race tune back on the car because it's going to need that extra bit of oomph. And it's probably going to need more fuel for the... Uh, for the nitrous, so we're gonna have to do that. And I'm not sure if I have to adjust my timing for that. Like normally you would have to. And I know you can loosen and rotate the distributor cap, so you can adjust the timing. But honestly, I'm not sure, as much of a car guy as I am, I've only ever messed with nitrous a couple of times. So I'm not sure if I know exactly what timing I wanna set. Now, you basically you don't want it to ping and you don't want it to detonate and all that, but like, I'm not sure how you can like I know it knocks you can hear the engine knocking when it's when it's out of tune like that but I don't know I don't know now hopefully if the cops are out today because it's Thursday which is cop day <laughs> sometimes hopefully no I, I, I re-registered the car but I've been playing the game a bit just to do some stuff so it could be past the date I don't know if the car is still registered or not so we're gonna have to figure that one out that's why I'm not going super fast so I can slow down if, if I see or hear a cop. I wonder if I can avoid them by, like, turning around. <laughs> oh, here we go. This is going to be a good one. I just had the cops the other day, though. But it's been, it's been a couple of weeks. So I guess we'll find out. Because, like, you guys don't see everything I do in the game. It takes a lot of time to make money. So I'm always making money on the side in my own time. Because I do enjoy just playing the game. Now, thank you I've only ever died once, because if I died, I'd show it. I do record it, but it's boring stuff, so I don't uh, I don't show it much. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I add clips from it into uh, certain videos, depending on what's happening. But lately, it's just go around, make some money, do the kill you, make some money. But that's fine. Now that I got my tractor back, which I have no idea how that happened, to be quite honest. But I have the tractor back now, so that's a bonus. So now I can go do wood and kill you and make double the amount of money. And I also have a plan to get the uh, the poop truck out of the water. Someone gave me a really serious tip on this. Uh, a buddy of mine who owns a game actually had the exact same problem. And he said there's a way to do it, but it's going to take three or four hours of prep to do it. So I'm going to figure that out. I'm not going to give any secrets away or any hints, but we'll figure that out. All right, here we go. We're just about there now. Perfect. Okay. Boy, this thing revs high. Jesus. Like, I realize I'm running really short gears, but... Like, that's... Uh, it still seems high for that. Okay, here we go. Let's pull on into here. Do you know this place is a real store? You can look it up. There's, there's a real real store in Finland that looks exactly like this. Alrighty, let's pull this on in here on my normal parking space. And good, okay. I never turned the clutch or the, the choke off, so that's cool. <laughs> so that's fun, but you know, because I'm an idiot and I totally forgot. All right, that's cool. Just burned up a bunch of extra fuel and ruined my spark plugs. That's fine. 
Before I drag race, I'm gonna swap the spark plugs too to make sure I'm not running into. You know, this car looks good in this color, man. In this in this lighting, anyway. So let's go visit. Oh yeah, the letter. I gotta get the letter. Oh jeez, I'm just having a day, eh? <laughs> just okay. Here's why do you always falling down, letter? Okay, come here. We gotta get my new rims. We gotta get my new rims. Okay, so we we'll put this in the mailbox here. I just need you to go in there. Mailed. All right, excellent. Hey, bud. What can you do for me? Well, you know, I'm, I'm looking. That's flat black paint. That's shiny black paint. This is orange. I'm going to get orange. And then I'm going to get shiny black, I think. We're going to try that out here. All right. Thanks. This, I don't know what you're upset about. I'm all busy, bud. I'm going to go paint in your driveway. Leave me alone. Jeez. This, no, I'm busy. I said I'm busy. What is your damage, bro? Okay, let's go. Let's take this down. We're going to paint it up both colors, and we'll find out what we prefer. Let's see what I, well, at least what I prefer, because you guys aren't here. So, <laughs> there's black paint, shiny black paint, and orange paint. So, let's pop off uh, all the ground effects. Okay, let's see here. Can I not? There we go. Why can't I pop this off? That one won't, <laughs> this one won't come off. Come on. There we go. Okay, nice. Pop you off, you off, and you off. Perfect. And then, can we pop the spoiler? Nice. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to move these away a little bit because Lord knows I'll end I said. I'm going to move these away a little bit because Lord knows I'll end up painting the car instead of the, the ground effects here. All right, so we'll move these all out of the way. Far enough away from the car. And hopefully the douchebags don't show up. Actually, Yanni's dead, so that's fine. Let's maybe refer Yanni because he knows the only girl in town and it's the only way we stood a chance, to be honest, because we don't have the personality to be dating Finnish girls that look like a buddy of mine named Steve from high school. So let's try to do... Okay, let's just, just do this up. All right, let's see. Orange, go. There's orange there. Okay. But that means I'm going to have to make my spoiler orange, which is a bit creepy as I'll get out. Hey, hey bud, what are you doing? Let's see here. I guess I should have done one side and put it on and taken a look. Let's see here. All right, let's uh, let's just do it all up. Why not, right? And this one. And then this. Okay, here we go. What happened? Spray paint, damn it. There we go. Okay, so let's drop that. And we'll stick this stuff back on and see... See what we got going on here. Okay, let's pick this up here like this. You know, that doesn't look terrible. What do we think of this? What do we think of this? Okay, let's see. The contrasting colors are nice. I, you know what? I kind of, I don't mind it. I don't, I don't hate it. Uh, what do we think? It's very contrasting. I... I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? What You know what? I'm going to leave it. I think I kind of like it. But I think what I'll do is bring the black paint home, and if everybody hates it, maybe we'll switch it up, and then I'll tear up because I really like the orange. Now, I realize it is my game, but I like to have the community involved. So get yourself – maybe I should make a, po make a poll that you guys can – maybe I should do that. Maybe I should make a poll about making a poll. Maybe I could do that. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Get on there. I kind of I kind of don't mind it. Because it's like a contrasting color. And I don't know anything about art, but I know what I like. <laughs> Leisure suit, Larry. Okay. Okay, you just got to... Oh, I saw you. I see, you son of a bitch. There we go. Okay. Let's see here. Um, I do like it. But do I paint the spoiler orange? Do I leave it blue? Do I paint it black? You know, I'm going to paint the spoiler black. See if it makes it kind of look like a carbon fiber thing. And then, if we hate it, we'll change it back to orange. That is, like, not even black. That's great, but it's shiny. Okay, let's put that on and see what that looks like. All right. Drop you. Okay, pick you up. Let's see here. You know what? I don't hate it. I don't hate it, but now the pink roll cage is going to go have to go. But no, what bothers me about that is that if I misspray, I'm going to spray the car and... 
screw up my whole paint job. <laughs> so here we go. Okay, let's just, uh, wonder if I can do it like back on this piece here. What, what painted orange? What painted orange? Nothing painted orange. Okay, let's try it again. There we go. Okay, now we have an orange roll cage. What do we think? Oh, it's a nice matchy poo kind of thing. Sexy. <laughs> okay, you know what? We'll bring the paint with us. If everybody hates this, I kind of like it though. I like the black spoiler. It looks like it's like super aftermarket. Okay, can we just... Okay, I didn't want to do that. Okay, there's nobody putting stuff in the trunk without the back seat there because it just all rolls around, but we might as well. You know, I'm going to bring this blue paint too. I only ever used it once. <laughs> okay, there we go. Perfect. All right, so that's done. Let me just get a good side profile look here. After I drink this beer, obviously I'm thirsty. Okay, get out of here. Get out of here. Thank you. All right. Let's go to the other side because there's more sun this way. Let's see. What do we think, boys? Do we like it? Do we love it? Do we hate it? Does it make us want to call our moms and say, oh my God, scapegoat ruined the car? I have no idea. But I like it. I like it. I almost a little lighter shade of blue would be better. Maybe, but I think it works. I like it. I like going home. I'm going home. We're going to leave it. Do we need anything else from Tiamo's while I'm here? I don't even know. Um, I don't think so. I think we're good. All right, car should be warm. Turn this on. Perfect. All right, put this down here. And now the next episode will be getting the rims when they're delivered and taking them to put rubber on them and getting those on the car. And then the episode after that should be the drag race. Uh, pro hopefully. <laughs> okay, here we go. We're going to head back home now. What, what a waste of a trip to town. Is the car cooled off a bit or something? Because my fuel or my air fuel mixture is all over the place right now. Do I have this thing in all the way? Yeah, it's just, it's all over the place. Might have to get Tiamo to give her a tune. Okay, so the orange I think kind of works. It gives us something interesting to look at anyway. A little different than normal. All right, we're cool. Okay, come on. You don't want to be out on that road too long. There we go. That's why. There we go. Okay, so I think it's working. But the only thing upgrade I don't think I'm going to do is the steering wheel because I don't like steer. I don't like steering wheels. Um, like that. Unless, like, if you've got a full blown race car, yes. But when you're driving it like a, if it's just a performance car, it really doesn't do you much good. You're just kind of wasting your money at that point. And a lot of them are designed to be worn with or used with gloves, so I don't uh, I don't feel the need to have them or have it anyway. And I like I'm a fan of old classic cars, and a lot of them had wooden steering wheels, so it's kind of cool to have that uh, that package available for this, especially with the center console and everything. Because I know for the drag race, you want to eliminate as much weight as possible, right? Like that's just drag cars in general. So I might have to remove some of the stuff from my car to lighten it up a bit. Like the passenger seat I can take out. I can, and I know it sounds stupid, but I can remove the old tack just to save a couple, like, you know, every pound helps in a drag race, right? I can pull the spoiler. I don't need that. I can remove all the ground effects. I don't need those. And they all go right back on, so it's not that big of a deal. Something to be said for a lightweight vehicle in a drag race. And so the more I can lighten it up, the better. So I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet. Although I might keep my roll cage, I think, because just for safety's sake. And I'm not sure if they require you to have it in this game for that, but I definitely don't want to have roll my car and not have the roll cage. That's another thing I found out, too. You don't have to wear your helmet for the rally race. You just have to wear it when you get into the car. You can take it off once you're moving and nobody can see you. You're fine. All right, here we go. Going home at a leisurely speed of 130. Oh, yeah, this is the way it is. You know, car stuff is so much fun. I just, whoa, what are you doing, bud? Jesus. Didn't I just see you a second ago? Are there two of you guys? Perfect. Okay. Yeah, the, the, the air fuel mixture is kind of running a slightly rich from where I'd want it, but it's not terrible. I've had it way worse, you know. Um, I'm just doing this to kind of save gas, to be honest. That's what I should have got while I was there was gas. You never have enough of that petrol in your car. But then again, for the drag race, I may run it down. I'm not sure if fuel carries weight in this game. 
Like in the long drive it does. The more fuel you have, the heavier the car is. I'm not sure if the game's coded to recognize the weight of the fuel, but if I can just put a few liters of gas in the car, enough to get there and back and do the drag race, I can save, you know, like 100 pounds of weight. Well, not 100, but I can save a significant amount of weight by not having the, that much fuel in the car. So maybe I can bring my fuel can with me, fill it up, put the bare minimum of fuel in the car, and then refuel it with the, uh, the fuel can before I go home. But I, like I said, I don't know if the fuels carry weight, or the, the liquids carry weight in this game. There we go. This has gone so well. This episode is going well. This is a dangerous road. This, this part of the road's dangerous when you have Flatari's car. Let me tell you. It's just so many bumps and stuff. It's just all over the place. If you're into the gas, you got to take it real easy on this road. I don't drive super fast down here, but I don't exactly go slow either. All right. Okay, here we go. Turn on in here. Perfect. Who's calling now? I'm busy. Oh my God, why are you doing this? I'm getting out, I'm getting out. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> okay. Well, that's fine. You know what? Fine. So I think it looks pretty good. Um, Myself, especially with the black spoiler. I think if I painted the spoiler orange, it'd be too much. But this with the orange roll cage, it all kind of ties together. But either way, quick episode, but that's that. So I'm going to leave this episode here exactly where I started. Actually, I'm going to go get some to eat while I talk here. So yes, thank you so much for watching. I just wanted to point out, we hit 7,500 subscribers. I mentioned a video the other day. I should really give it more attention, but I was waiting to if I see if I could hit 10,000. What people don't seem to understand is my goal for the whole year was 7,500 subscribers. And now at the end of April, I've got it. So it took half the time I thought as I would get to it. So that's pretty special, I got to say. So thank you for all the new subscribers who are here. I appreciate you. Sorry, I'm losing my voice today. I was talking too much because I'm a talker. Um, I do appreciate you all being here, and I appreciate all the effort you guys go in to watch videos and comment. And I still try to get back to as many as I can. So again, thank you so much. So I'm going to leave this episode here. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this, please leave a comment. Maybe subscribe. Maybe tell me how much you hate orange. Maybe tell me every car should be black because I'm boring like that. And if you didn't like this, well, you should probably find yourself a real YouTuber because I'm not close to the microphone. Mm, much of one. Thank you again so much for watching. Love every view I get. Scapegoat. It looks like a pumpkin crossed with the midnight sky. That really good title for a scary mystery novel. Pumpkin in the midnight sky. Write that down. Out.